A driver is blaming broken street lights as the reason she hit a pedestrian on Emmanuel Cleaver near Euclid this morning. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck has been trying to figure out who's responsible to maintain those street lights. And Sarah, what can you tell us? Cynthia, it's very complicated. I called Public Works and they said that they don't maintain these particular street lights, but I'll show you the ones that are causing an issue. And it's one of the ones that you see right here. That's one of the ones that did not turn on last night. So the driver told police that she simply could not see the man who was walking with his bike along Emanuel Cleaver. Now, this morning's crash did prompt the city to try and check out other street lights in this area. And this morning, a driver smashed into that man while he was walking his bicycle. She originally took off, but soon after she turned herself in and her SUV into police. No word on any charges that she'll face, but the driver told police it was so dark and she just couldn't see him. She, we saw firsthand as we were out covering the crash that three street lights along Emanuel Cleaver were not working. Now, the City Public Works Department says it should be pretty easy. You just call 311 to try and report a street light that's not working, but I can tell you, Cynthia, it has not been easy for me to try and track down who's responsible responsible for these lights. I've called MODA, I've called the City Public Works Department, and I've also called Parks and Rec, and I still cannot find who, who is responsible for them. Reporting live in Kansas City, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck for doing Action News.